does the repeater crossbow work in tactics and this is the question that we're going to be addressing today pay no attention to the stat on the bottom that is an off color stat we are going to be running repeater crossbow in tactics today because i'm going to be experimenting with the theory that two-handed weapons should not be survival and that they should be in other stats so we're going to attempt to prove that today if it doesn't work it doesn't work and if it works fantastic so if you're not subscribed i'm close to 700 subs i do a lot of dead cells runs guides commentaries and outside of dead cells i do a lot of social commentary so if you're interested in any of that stuff feel free to hit the subscribe button turn on bell uh turn on the bell excuse me for future notifications and uh the other thing i wanted to talk about was uh one of my really good friends colleen has started her youtube channel i'm very proud of her for that she does a lot of makeup tutorials and things like that so please show her some love from my end you can follow her at Collie Cakes, that is C-A-U-L-I-C-A-K-E-S. Again, that is C-A-U-L-I-C-A-K-E-S. You can tell her that I sent you. You can tell her Ash sent you. And yeah, again, if you know someone that's really into makeup tutorials or anything like that, absolutely give her a follow. And let's do this. So I really like Repeater Crossbow, first off. Like, I think this is an absolutely fantastic weapon. Um, it does so much well especially in terms of just like rooting these enemies and like it has like a good fire rate it is fast as hell on the uh on the not just the rooting but like on the regular as well i should turn down my volume here okay i like this a lot beautiful and then now we have them rooted now you can't jump towards me and i'm i'm very curious to try this out with something like a like a hunter's uh instinct and then you're dead yeah it's just so rooting also does a little bit of damage over time which is very cool uh is there someone in here yep i don't always need to fire off on the crits especially when i know that I'm going to be able to get the kill off without them attacking. So that's why I'm not firing off immediately. Okay. Oh, well, guess we're here. You know, I've never taken a forgotten map before. Uh, what do I want? Okay. You know, I... I've never had the forgotten map before, so let's just take it. Why not? I mean, I could use it over the light speed. I can try it out for a little bit. Weapon scrolls are no longer a thing. I've literally never used this before. So I guess we'll turn it on in promenade or something. Or am I going to promenade? I don't know. Maybe I should go to Arboretum. It has a great range too. All right, will I be able to get thirty? I don't know. And the root stays for a pretty long time as well. Beautiful. Ah, okay. Come on. There we go. I barely avoided that in time. Are there any other enemies here? I mean, there there probably are. Okay. And we can go here. Yeah, I knew it. Wow, in one shot, too. That's awesome. Alright, there are, in fact, enough enemies for the 30. I just gotta stay down here, ignore the rats. There it is, that's the 30. Level 7 item. 
No matter where we go, that's where we're getting. Really? Hmm. Okay, well, we're not off to a great start here, but we'll be fine. I'm not that worried. That was a difficult mob. We don't need to take anything yet. Alright, 1, 3, and 3. So, I wonder how dual stat scrolls are going to appear for me. So, I'm thinking we can go to uh, Dilapidated. I think that would be fun. Or even Toxic Sewers. I think Toxic Sewers would be really fun. Yeah, let's do that. And then I can use my forgotten map and then just get rid of it. Damn it. Inquisitors are very annoying. Well, they're always annoying. Buzz Cutters are going to be even more annoying, though. They do all the little things to piss you off. Okay, let's go to Toxic Sewers. Okay. What are we getting for our level 7 items? Please, something good. This can work. I'd rather have a better amulet. Alright, but let's re-roll this just to get the uh, crits on it. Or not the, the piercing. Piercing would be very nice on this. Well. Shit. So, moment of truth. What does the forgotten map actually do? What does it show? Everything. So, we can see everything from here. Now we got some scroll fragments. We've got an assassin scroll. We've got it. Oh, wow. We've got a lot of scrolls waiting for us here. Nice. No curses, but hey, that... Hey, I... I... I'm good with what we have here. Alright, this is going to be kind of rough to start. Yeah, without piercing, this is going to be kind of difficult. Okay. Good. Nice. Okay. All right. Good. So the reason I have two dual stat scrolls in my favor is because um, the game sees me as having one as having less tactics than survival so they're giving me both dual stat options in a very nice manner god bus cutters are just the worst all right good please pierce okay i'll take this over the other one the other one's not really working out it this shit needs to pierce for me like, I can't have it any other way. Alright, good. Alright, and then you should be dead. Nice. I see the dual stats. I see the challenge ripped. I'm going to go take it in a bit. All 
All right, good. All right, let's activate this now so that we can come back to it later. And see, that's where this really works out nicely. How did he even hit me? Okay, let's take the challenge off now then. Well, that works. I will take that. Good thing I kept the extra jump. That's very nice to have. I mean, it would be... I think part of what's hurting me right now is that I don't have a skill because I stupidly decided to take the uh, forgotten map. Why did it even put me up there? Okay. Good. Playing a little bit uptight right now. I need to kind of loosen up a little bit. Alright, good. 1, 7, and 1. Let's be prepared to take a fuck ton of damage now. Okay. Uh, we can wait for you. Good. And that, okay, so that kills in one shot, which is good. And that should be a death for you. Okay, let's not even, let's not even try. Anyone else? Okay, good. That was close. All right, cool. Oh, okay, well he's stunned. Nice. Okay. I may have to use a health pot at some point. But that time is not yet. Alright, good. We still have a kind of an outside chance at the 60. Let's see what we can get for this. I think that's worth the money, honestly. I'll find another skill. Like, I'm not worried about that at all. Like, we can get one right here. Okay, just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, that's Ancient Sewers. We don't need to go to. All right, so I can I can just pay the money for that. So no biggie. I am a little bit confused with the forgotten map on as to where I haven't been yet cuz teleporters aren't turned on. These things are annoying. Alright, cool. That works. Nice. There's a lot of hang time with this weapon, which is really good. That, that did not go according to plan. 
but we were able to do it. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take it. Uh, I need a bigger space than this. Okay. Good. Okay, I just needed a better space. I needed more space to be able to operate. That was really my only concern. There should be another one here. Yeah. Alright, two more. Come on. You can do it. That's it. That's 60. <coughs> nice. All right, good. Okay. Nice. All right. Hmm. I'd rather just down smash, honestly. Knock out all three at once. Oh shit! That was close. All right. So we're at seventy-six. See what we got in here. I'd rather not have to pay for anything, so I'll just take the door for now. Which actually could be okay. It'll allow me to get some hits off. Alright, that's Corrupted Prison. Still have a little bit of level left, right? Yeah, we got a few things to do. Actually, the aura might be better if it's not behind a paid door. Come on. Where is it? There, it should be a little bit closer. Okay. So there's a bat up there, I assume. Yep, knew it. All right, cool. Now we can take the Sara. Awesome. Okay. Only a little bit left. Nah. Like what I have a little bit better. 1, 10, and 1. Oh boy. That damage is gonna suck when I uh, get hit. Alright. Do we have anything else left in this level? No? Okay. Let's go to Corrupted Prison. If I can get a wolf trap, that'd be super good. I think Knife Dance would be slightly better for what I need it for. No. Okay, come on. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? What is with these biters? Okay, um... Networking should be fine here. I don't even know why biters are part of the game. Well, 
Where are you guys at? Might as well take this now. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this for the rest of the level. And then retake this amulet back later. Okay. Damn it. I'm gonna keep that on here so I don't take like 8 million damage. Beautiful. Alright, where is it? Can anyone see me from here? come here now all right good and I can just fire off a little bit Okay. Beautiful. Nice. I definitely needed that. I like the other amulet better, that's why I'm taking that's why I'm just selling that. Well, that was an adventure. Nice. Okay. The range is just enough for what I needed to do. All right, good. All right. We're moving. That would be interesting, but... Uh, all right, we are going to Ramparts. Oh, almost forgot my amulet. Uh, 
Okay, just checking if I'm recording. Get ready to take a whole fuck ton of damage. Part two. We're gonna start seeing some dual stat scrolls, though, so we should be able to get some health in this biome. So I'm not that worried. Okay, so what can we do for this? Um, I'm liking support. I have a deployed skill in the double cross pneumatic that has perfect synergy within it. So I think support would work out very nicely for that. Get the fuck out of here. No one likes you. Mm-mm. Nope. Just checking. I've already seen two challenge rips, so maybe three. It's a possibility. Let's turn on the teleporter first. Good. Is there really not a teleporter anywhere for miles? There really isn't. Oh, that's very useful. There we go. I'll explain what I was doing here. So, this Inquisitor's trying to shoot at me, right? But I want to be able to hit this Rampager and the Inquisitor at the same time. So what I do is that I manipulate the Inquisitor movement to shoot me here. And he has a little bit of a cooldown on his shot. So I make him shoot over here, roll here, then I can down smash both of them, get the kill off easily from there. That's basically what I was thinking. Okay, let's go back. All the way back. I cannot fall either. I'm gonna lose a crap ton of health with a bat with the shot that shoots you backwards in the secondary hand. That's especially gonna be scary. So we need to be very very careful in this level. But it's either that or I fight Kanji, and I don't really feel like fight fighting Kanji at the moment. So. I've been fighting her a lot lately, so it's I need to diversify just a little bit. All right, that's my first bit of health. I need did I needed this desperately. Beautiful. That's exactly what I was trying to do. That worked out just absolutely perfectly for me. Oh, shit. All right. I just got to be a little bit slow with the with the with the weirded warriors. That's what I thought. Oh, they added something new. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but now it kind of emits on the ground a little bit. It has a little I think that's why I'm able to notice it a little bit better now. I don't know if this is new or if they just added it, but that's really cool. Thank you for adding this. It's a little bit easier to see now. I'll take that later. Right now, I think Aura is good for those weirded warriors.
get the fuck out of here. One. Good. Uh, we'll leave this on the map for the, uh, thing, for the challenge rift. That was close. Alright, that works. Yo, that's a sick roll. Nice. Okay. Nothing here. All right, regular chest. What do we got? Emergency door, I will pass on that. There is a 10% chance that a curse in this level. Have I personally seen it in the last eight months? No, but I also rarely come here, so. Oh, good. Glad I got the 60 there. Um, okay, so we're gonna root him and then Aura. Yep, that was the right move. Alright. And now we can take that. Alright, here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna take this amulet right here. Leave this one on the map. And the reason I'm doing this is because of the fact that I don't know what amulet I'm getting dropped from here. Okay, so now this is a red and green, so I will take that. I can go ahead and sell this now. Less health is um, very detrimental in these. Granted, the max cap is at 30%, but um, I would rather have, you know, more health in these, and then I can just pick up whatever amulet I want later. That was all very risky on my part. Hmm. Let's take it now. What the fuck am I doing? Jesus Christ. Alright. I've been really bad in these challenge rips lately. I don't know what is going on. I think I'm just playing a little bit scared. Okay. Alright, good. One seventeen and two. Hmm. Good. I mean, I can heal back up to full. Alright. Are there any cursed chests? No. Okay. This is the last part of the level. One. Get you out of here first. Alright. Good. Get some very much needed health, but we gotta come in here first.
Good. Alright. Anything else? No, we're done. Good. Okay. I mean, we, we lost a health pot. That's fine. Oh my god, dude. Ugh. Inquisitor spam. There we go. Alright, we're done. Thank god. Let's keep what we have. Um, actually, no, I'm not. Here's my plan. I'm going to go to... I'm going to go to Sanctuary after Concierge, assuming I beat him. So let's take this now. And once we're in Sanctuary, let's see if we can get a poison damage for the Repeater Crossbow. Eighteen is a fantastic stat total to have, though, for Concierge. Um, I'm gonna take this. Come on. There we go. Okay, good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well done, me. Okay. Whoops. That was one of the easier concierge fights that I've had. He did, what, like two attacks? Come on, legendary repeater crossbow. Now uh, this is interesting. Ah, uh, there's too many. F there's inquisitors are pain with this one. So, and if my plan to go to caverns is there, then I can't really do it. I can live on three health pots. See, I'm at the point where I have enough, where I have low health anyway, so any one hit from an enemy is going to devastate me, so. And I'm, I'm looking at you, duelists. I don't like this. Alright, that's good. Uh, let's... Let's see just what we're working with right now. Okay, we've got enemies down here. We have a lot of enemies. It's one, two, three, four. Five. 
five, six. I have an idea. To make my life easier. Wait, really? Okay. So I guess I can take this now, right? Please don't trick me, game. That's all I ask of you is just do not trick me on this. If that if that caster is somewhere and it pops towards me and I die, I'm not going to do anything. But... So it's kind of the same thing that I did before. Alright, good. Oh, I'm going to have to come here. Alright, makes my life a little bit easier. Alright, good. Alright, one more. Beautiful. Alright, we got rid of the curse in this level. Just in time for the elite. Oh wow, that was two hits. Okay. Whew. I can relax a little bit. Good. I should have taken that. It's fine. All right. So now let's go back and check out what that two door, that two cell door was all about. Because um, if I don't want to go back in there and have a bunch of enemies waiting for me. So let's go check this out now. Okay. Good. I made the right call here. Good. Thank God for stun. So there's two enemies up here. One of them is this. Cool. I'll just keep this in the back pocket. If I need it for whatever reason, I'm never gonna need it. It's not really what we're doing in this build, but yeah. You, know, you never know. Okay. Shops up there. Let me check that out. Yeah, we're gonna take this. Shots explode into toxic cloud is very nice. And let's start saving some money. I'm good where I am in terms of my skills and stuff. Okay, where's the masker? So what are we working with here? Well, first off, I missed the scroll fragment. There's four in this level, so there's another one that I missed, but I can come get that later. There are a lot of enemies before the doors. Hopefully that means there's no enemies now, like maybe three enemies. Nice try. Where's the golem? There it is. Alright, good. I've already gotten the curse. Fantastic. Fabulous. Alright, one more. And then let's open up the door. There is a possibility I get a second curse. So let's just be mindful of that. Alright, that's a 60, which is nice. 
That bomber, that bombardier is not gonna see me. I want to wait for these demons. Now I can take it. The, my reasoning for taking this is because I am very distinctly lacking money right now. I need better weapons. And I need better skills. That's, I mean, that's the gist of it. Because I've been lacking money for a little bit, so I feel like if I get this now, then it'll help me out in the long run. Yeah, it's a huge risk to take, but I'd rather take this risk than not. Okay. What are we working with here? I'm waiting for you. All right, good. There it is. All right. Awesome. Okay. Play a little bit less uptight now. What the hell happened to the camera? Right, that is definitely going to be nice if I need it. Nope. Not even touching that with the 10 foot pull. Good. Let's move. Or not. Jesus Christ, dude. Don't scare me like that. No, there it is. There's always like a hidden uh, a hidden gem somewhere here. Alright, we're done with the first part. That's caverns. And... So the other two exits should be here. I got almost all of that back on the rally, so I'm happy with that. And I can go heal it off later. Demons are just the bane of my fucking existence. Alright, good. Yeah, let's take that. Dude! Ah, it's the... Fucking stun. I forgot about that. You guys want to see what this does? It does nothing. It just stuns them for like a brief second. Okay. Uh, Alright, we have a healing option. That's Sepulchre up there. 
Could be enemies in this door right here. We have a very high scroll count. Okay, we're done with enemies. That's good. Okay. So I we are done. Didn't no hit it, but I again I just I rallied so much of my health back that that hit from the demon and golem was kind of irrelevant. I believe it was a demon and golem. I know I got hit by the demon. I don't know about the golem though. I should have been more patient with that. That that's kind of on me. So now the objective is, now that I have a lot of money, the objective is going to be trying to find some good skills to use against Giant. Because um, you can't, you can immobilize them to an extent, but not really. So we're going to see what we can do here. And I just need to be very careful while I'm in here. I have two skill shops potentially and one regular shop. So, we'll see how it goes. I don't know. Um, hopefully I don't get too many frame rate drops while I'm here, but it's probably going to happen, let's be honest. It never doesn't happen. But I can make use of the wolf trap while I'm here. Alright, let's, let's roll. Oh, I almost rolled right into that. Cheeky. All right. I see you. Or, or okay, I guess you guys didn't. Alright, that's healing if and when I need it. Wow, good job, double cross pneumatic. How do I want to deal with this? Okay, now well, that's the way to deal with that. Yeah, he can't get immobilized. Okay, good to know. So that means Giant can't get immobilized. Well, that wasn't good. But that's fine. That works. Okay. Moving on. Alright. That's not the one. Double cross maps can be very useful. Are they flying back up? Oh yeah. Our enemy jumping on an enemy stuns him. Thank you, Double Cross Pomatic. I appreciate that. Demons are the fucking bane of my existence right now. I was right on the edge there. Like, right on the fucking edge. Yeah, this is a better affix overall, and it's level 12. Get the fuck out of here, stupid demon. Well, 
well, do some head cheese. I don't typically do it, but sometimes you gotta. That's kind of a unavoidable situation for me right there. Oops. Those do a lot of damage. Especially without 75% DR, it's kind of a chore. Alright. Uh, let's just wait for you to get to the other side. Nice. Okay, good. Let's go. We're doing okay so far. We're hanging in there. Demons have presented a huge problem, but they also presented a problem in slumbering, as I got hit by them and got drained very badly, but I was able to overcome that. I should not have non so nonchalantly done that. I need to be more careful about these things next time. Yes, the crit damage is a lot, but I'm not that confident yet. Alright, I don't really know what I want for skills, so let's just... <sighs> Owl would be nice. I am going to take this Owl. But not not yet. I don't need to. I can just re-roll it for poison. Nice. Wait, what? Is that it? Okay, okay, fine. Whatever. I guess that was the end of that. Okay. That was weird. Alright, we got two more scrolls. Or two more scroll fragments. Excuse me. Where's... What? Did I accidentally root this Arbiter? I accidentally rooted the Arbiter. I did not even intend on it. Come on. What are we working with here? Clearly nothing right now. There we go. Beautiful. Dude, another one? No. Well, this one is just the money one. And I've already gotten the 60, so I can go freely. I'm just scared of that uh, lava and then jumping into spikes. It's just general things to be scared of. This giant fight's going to be very difficult. So I need, like, the right skills. And the owl, I think, is one of them. Let's save this room. Take that and then get rid of the double crossbomatic. Because that's too good to pass up on. That's way too good to pass up on. Okay, that's the end of the level.
That could have been bad. Is he shooting? Come on, hang time. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it. Come on. Come on. All right. Well, I got to back up to 65%. Like I said, those rocks are tough. They are not easy. Okay. This is interesting. This I can take. What do I just... No. I think this is going to be better. Alright, let's see what we're working with here. Okay. So, no curse. Good. All right, now we got you here. Yeah, that's what I thought. That 75% DR is gonna come very handy. That's why I took it. Oh, what's going on here? I was scared for a sec. All right, good. Cool. Finish the level at 30, which is very nice. Trail of Flames poisons the enemy. Just want to see what we're working with here. Giving me everything but poison. I have seen everything here but poison. That's not good. Alright. Where's the healing item? Oh god. It's all the way down there. Good. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not even going to try to deal with that. Okay. So where do we need to go? Okay, so we got to go down. Okay. Cool. All right, now we can... All right, so what I need to do is I have a good wolf trap. Okay, it, caverns is good. So I have a good wolf trap. Um, I need to re-roll my lacerating aura for poison. 
There's no sense in re-rolling my repeater crossbow. But I think this should work. Okay, so now I'm thinking we change up to networking, instinct, and disengagement. And we'll change it one more time before um, Hand of the King. Assuming that we get past Giant, hopefully all goes well. Damn it, I forgot to reroll my uh, Aura. It's fine. Good. How's going on? I'll take it. Shit, I'm not complaining. There we go. That's a giant I know and love. I'm not even going to bother with that. There we go. There we go. That's that's a really good no hit. All right. So yeah, I made the right decision in doing what I did with this build. Okay, level ten repeater. Or come on, yeah. High peak castle. Let's go. That was kind of an intense fight. Uh, two, three, two, one, six. Nah. I'm not gonna bother re-rolling. I want to pick up something better in High Peak Castle, anyways. In terms of, I want a turret. That's really what I'm looking for here. Or even like a root grenade. Uh, maybe not a root grenade. But something. Something to do poison damage. But I'd rather buy it than have to waste waste time re-rolling. Alright, you're dead. Oh, shit. That was... So close. I haven't seen this sort of thing since, uh, since, uh, 1.2. I've seen so many spam calls today. I wonder why. I think I might have to do that. Eighty percent to poison, guys. Come on, this is kind of okay. Thank you. I'll take that later. I just need to remember to take it first. All right. 
Good. Just have to be a little bit careful on that. What other things does that give me? Burning and inflammable oil? Okay. That works. That was all really, really, really close. But we got through it. try. Not gonna happen. Mm. Good. Networking is kind of helping too. I definitely needed the uh, health. All right, we'll take that later. I don't know why I was right there. That was a really, really stupid move on my part. Alright, so the best option for me is to go for Flame Turret. If I can get Poison and Bleed. Because then that Repeater Crossbone, the shop, has Poison and Bleed as well. That's a 62, which is really good. Good. So I got two things to take. I got to take that, and then I got to take the uh, repeater crossbow. Just got to remember to do it. Definitely not. I just got my health back up to normal. Alright, first we'll do the red. This should be pretty straightforward for the most part. Right, 
Good try. Alright, good. And then that's for you guys. And I don't need to bother. Well, might as well. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, let's let's not do this. I was thinking maybe there could be a challenge rift. Not worth it. I didn't take much damage from that, luckily. Alright, let's pick up this first. And let's move on to... What? Green? Good. And then one more enemy. Or two more, excuse me. Alright, cool. Awesome. And we got one more left, and that is the blue. down here we got three keys we can go get the scroll we'll be at 34 by the end of this which is fantastic awesome didn't even have to deal with any enemies there too which is nice okay so now what we need to do let's go grab the repeater crossbow first So let me show you guys something. So, um, it's this one, right? Yeah. So let's find a similar repeater crossbow, right? So that one would have done about 147. So let's say the one that I had, which was level 12, did about 160, right? This one only does 147, but you times that by 1.4 with the burn and then times that by 1.8 with the poison. Now that number is a lot higher, which is why I'm taking that. And I'm going to go take that flame turret so that I get that same exact effect. And this also gives me um, poison as well. So definitely taking all this stuff is the right move in terms of synergy and maximizing my damage output. With still lots of money to spare. So if I need to, I can go pick up a health pot over in the Astrolab, assuming that I beat Hand of the King. And then the rest should be fine. So Hand of the King, the first thing I'm doing is dropping both my, um, what's this called, the Wolf Trap, and then I'm dropping my uh, Flame Turret. Those are the first two things I'm doing, roll behind, and start firing off like a madman. Wolf Trap does 80% to Poison and 100% to Burning Oil. So that's also going to be really nice because my repeater crossbow does damage to oil. Anyways, um, instinct, support, and um, probably disengagement. Or ammo, I think would be nice. Do I have anything to give me back ammo? I don't. So we'll go with ammo. And just see kind of how we're doing. I don't think we'll need it. But I think it's just good to try it out. Just to play it safe. And against Collector, I think ammo is definitely a good take to have. Alright, Hand of the King, let's go. Holy shit!
God damn, that was quick. Yeah, and so that synergy is... That's why you take stuff that can synergize. Because you saw how much damage I was able to do just off of that. Knocked it out. It didn't even attack me once. That's why you do things like that. And support really helped too. Shots of Betrayal of Flames? Nah. Don't overthink it. We're good with what we have right now. It's got to be a little bit careful about librarians. I also got to keep in mind that I have hang time on this weapon. Meaning that I can jump up and kind of leave it like that for a little bit. Okay, that works. And then you're dead. Nope. Just take you up first. Now you should be dead. Yeah. Whoa, I was way within range of that. Okay, let's be a little bit careful next time. This build means nothing if I lose, so... Much needed health. Damn it. Get out of here. Okay. Let's just see if we got anything from this. I don't think so, but might as well just see. Yeah, nothing. Which is fine, I mean... Good try. How? I don't even know. Okay, fine. Whatever. Down there should be the food shop. Shit. 
Just in time. Nope. Okay. Um, what are we working with here? And go. Uh, okay. Now it's safe. Uh, should I just wait for her? Yeah. Uh, just wait for you to come back up. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. And pick that up finally. <laughs> After how long we picked that up? Ah, oh, lame. Alright, let's rain it down. Let's try that again. How am I supposed to. But I gotta be here? Well, you I can kill. Nice try. Okay. Just wanted to get rid of her. That's a difficult enemy, so... Any chance that you get to do it, you do it. That was close. Okay. Okay, that's also an option. I can take that when I need to. Damn, I thought I had it. Alright, good. Mm. Okay, now. Alright, cool. Take that. Beautiful. Nice. Good try. Just hit you again. I'm not even gonna bother with those guys. That's completely pointless to even try. Yeah, right, well, you're done. Alright, let's go take that, uh, Go take that little monster's eye that's down there. Uh. I don't, I don't know. Alright, good. Now we can go back. 
And we are done. Alright, so we are finally at 100% with no health pots, or with all health pots available. Keeping the same exact affixes, because I think that will work. And let's, uh, let's do it. We have a good scroll count. It's a very good scroll count, honestly. Think of it this way, add about four, four or five to what you have, and that's what you would have had in uh, 1.0, or 1.8. So I have about 40-ish in 1.8. All right, wish me luck. Shit. Got him on three. Three. There we go. That's the run. Whoo! We just smoked those last three bosses like for real smoked them um well we smoked the last two bosses the first two uh concierge we also smoked but giant took a little bit of time but we no hit every boss we had some really really good moments throughout the run um honestly repeater crossbow should be tactics like it it does well in survival but i think it does even better in tactics uh wow it is it's incredible because tactics you don't need shields to operate efficiently you really don't and in fact, you can make the argument that tactics can sometimes be better without a shield. So, and you saw the proof in the pudding right here. I mean, Repeater Crossbow does amazingly well in tactics. Like, absurdly good. So, I, I really do recommend this weapon. Um, either in survival or if you want to run colorless tactics, uh, definitely try that out. But it, it is so, so good. Um, and again, rewatch those boss battles. I have never done damage like that. Even when I had 41 with my uh, spike boots, I did not do damage like this. I, I simply did not do damage like this. So it is insane. Absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching this video. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my content. If you like and subscribe for more Dead Cells social commentaries, etc. All that good stuff. And uh, again, subscribe to my friend Colleen. Uh, and again, her YouTube channel is C A U L I C A K E S. That's Collie Cakes. If you know someone, or if you or yourself are into makeup or any of that stuff, feel free to give her a follow. I want to subscribe, or I'm gonna uh, collab with her soon. So we'll see what happens. Um, but again, crazy run, absolutely crazy. Have a great night, everybody. Stay safe out there.